and today I'm going to be doing the Halloween Lush unboxing. I've actually had this in my house for I think maybe three weeks. I actually ordered this the same day it was released and it came a few days after. It was very quick delivery. I just haven't got round to it. I've just quickly un sealed it but I haven't actually looked to see what's inside obviously I know it's inside because I ordered it but it's been a while so it's still going to be a little bit of a shock of what I actually ordered because it's been that while so when you actually do a Lush order it's really good because they actually send you a breakdown so they actually show you the products that you ordered and it also tells you a breakdown of what each one is so it'll tell you what each one is how to use it and the ingredients which I think is fantastic because sometimes you'll buy things you'll get them home you'll be like oh what was that one so as you can see that's this page so that's what I ordered there and that's eight items in total and then this was the second page to that one and there you'll see there's four items on there i actually thought i bought one of the sprays but maybe i didn't but i also did get asked at the end when i went to check out um to choose a free sample and i went ahead and picked the skin drink sample which is that one so i haven't had a sample from Lush before in a box when I bought it online so that's a first for me so we'll see it says it's 10 grams so we shall see what that one is when we come to it with all the packaging I usually find at Lush it always comes really well packed with these peanuts and the peanuts are also biodegradable you just put them in the sink in the bathtub put water on them and they dissolve which is great because that means that all the packaging that's sent by Lush is able to be recycled or dissolved. So there's no plastics in here, hopefully, and everything just comes usually loose like this. So this is the first item that's on top, and this is the big foot. So there we go. And you can see a comparison to my hand. I'll be this. This one says it's Bigfoot Bath Bomb. Um, does it even tell you like the scents? Um, it just says fill your bath with warm water, drop in the bath bomb and lie back to enjoy its lovely colour and gorgeous fra fra fragrance. I would say this is very lemony. It smells so again, that's what that one is. That's the front and then the bottom of the foot. So there's number one. Oh. Big foot. Second out the box is a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. What do they call it on here? They call it the pumpkin pumpkin. So that also is a bath bomb, same in directions, fill your bath with warm water, drop in the bath bomb, lie back, enjoy its lovely colour and gorgeous fragrance. So that's the same again. This one is... I don't know if it's quite close. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's still lovely. But can't get any more Halloween then. A pumpkin. So that's number two. Number three. <laughs> Isn't this one cute? Is I think it's a bull bear. And I've actually decided after going through all the bath bombs at Lush, I actually prefer the bubble bar. I'm not a bubble bath person. I did prefer bath bombs just for that reason. But I found that with the bubble bars, they don't over bubble the bath. They give a nice moisturizing feel with slight bubbles, not a huge bubble. So I actually really enjoy these bubble bars now. So this one's called the Cyclops. 
for the reason that you can see right there, the one eye. Um, this one to use says crumble under running water, warm water, as you fill the tub for mountains of fluffy fragrant bubbles. And like I said, I only do, a, I don't do a full one of these because I said I don't like the bubbles. So I tend to, so I only crumble a little bit in them. Like I just said, I don't like a lot of bubbles in a bubble bath. So one of these I'll probably do maybe two, maybe three out of that. And the same goes for these bath bombs. I don't like a lot in my bath. I can get quite sensitive to fragrances and things like that. So that one, I'd probably do two baths with that one as well. And then who could not resist this one when ordering? Dracula. I didn't do the smell. So the scent on this one is quite similar to Bigfoot, as in a lemony flavour. Then Count Dracula. So Count Dracula, when you're doing a Halloween haul for bath bombs, you've got to have some kind of Dracula vampire. So this one was a must. This one is a bubble bath also. Same directions of what to do with it. Again, it doesn't really, it says citrus. I don't really get much citrus from this one. It's like very, very faint smelling. So that'd be nice on a night where you just want to relax and don't want a heavy fragrance in the bath. That'll be a nice one to do that one with. And then the ghost. So the ghost is very much like, I think it was, is it the cow lush dude like this? And you pop it in and the bath goes all these colors as it comes out. Very cool to see. Very heavy lemon with this one. You can actually see like bits of yellow in there, which I'm guessing that's maybe the lemon in it, but really strong lemon. And lemon is one of my favorite scents, along with eucalyptus. So this one will be good. Um, this one is called the Ghosty. <laughs> so that one is number five so next one is this one so this one was actually our free sample so for the free sample that's what comes with it it has this on the back and then it's got the actual skin drink on it moisturizer Ooh. So that's exactly what it looks like when you open it up. Very coconut, coconut kind of shea butter kind of smell. I'll take a little bit and I'll put it on my hand. So it feels very light. And it's soaked in really nice so not too heavy on the fragrant either so that's a nice sample and then next one is this big tub what was this one toil and trouble so this one is toil and trouble and it's a body scrub or shower scrub if we can open it there we go And it's, it's like a deep, deep purple. I don't want to pour too much because it'll come out. Um, 
And I have had one similar to this before. I can't think of the name of it right now. And everyone loved it in the house. And it's got a nice fall, fiery smell to it. And that one, it says, shower scrub, toil and trouble. Apply to damp skin and rub gently to exfoliate. Cleanse and nourishes and this one says, shower, scrub, toil and trouble. How to use, apply to damp skin and rub gently to exfoliate. Cleanses and new moisturize, rinse, clean and pat dry. So that one will probably be a hit with everyone in the house for that one, because everyone loves a good body scrub, especially when it comes to winter time. And then next in the box is this Lord of Mithrua. Don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Let me show you. You can see, it's like all cake there with like powder. And I don't know why that would be. Let's give it a shake. No. I mean, it's sealed. Just doesn't look like, and you can see, like, doesn't seem to be very well mixed in. And this one smells great for fall. You can see it's just gloopy. So this one's a shower gel. And you can smell, when you apply this in the bathroom, you just know it's gonna fill the whole bathroom with that smell, which will be fantastic. And then we have this one. And I actually got this one last year and I'm positive it was a bubble bath and it was, is it black? Was it red? I can't think now. Um, and it was on a stick. This one's got a faint smell also. And I think I can get something like maybe almondy kind of smell to this one. And this one is called Screamo. Um, and it is, it's a bath bomb. And, and it has got um, bitter almonds in it. So that'd be where I could smell the almond scent from. And obviously, it's, obviously it's got some other things in there, but I think that one will be a nice relaxing bath too. And then we have, I got Vampire Kisses Lip Scrub. So I do like a good lip scrub. That's what it's come like. It looks very dry. It is. It's maybe too dry. I don't know if you can see that. I'm like, there's like no real moisture to it. It's like, I don't know if you can see like, how dry this is. Very dry. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm used to using um, the MAC lip scrubs, which I totally love. Um, can be a bit too greasy though, um, but this seems really dry. Um, it says, take a pea-sized amount and scrub your lips soft, then lick off the excess. I wouldn't lick it off, but that's maybe why it's dry like that. Um, and it says the scents in this one, grape um, and shea butter, orange. So we can only try and see. Must say, I mean, it, it does smell like berry, berry-ish. 
And it said you could lay, so let's have a look. No. There's a flower. I mean, you can taste that. You could give it in like a kid's sweet. And then there's a nice berry taste to it, but then there's also a hint of like flowerness to it. But that could be because I've been touching all the other bath bombs and my hands are scented already. And then this is, I think this is the last item. And this one's come in a bag, unlike everything else. Everything else was just loose in the box with all the peanuts around it. But I'm gathering because this is the two or three part. This is the UFO, is it? So yeah, so bath bomb UFO. And this one, I'm positive the top comes off. Yep. So the top comes off like a spinny bottle. Then inside you have some salt. And I want to say there's a lemony smell to this one. Everything seems to have either a lemony smell or a almondy coconut body butter kind of smell. Um, this one, yep, citrus lemon. Um, it also says black currant. And that's probably where it is. Like a mix between black currant and lemon. And this one is huge. So if we put this one against Screamo, and then against the body butter, you'll see the differences in them. I'm gonna put that one back in the bag for now. I do like to, for Halloween, I have a jar in the bathroom that I like to pop all of these on. I'm just gonna put my hands through it. I know that's it, but I'm just gonna check that nothing was left inside. Oh, there was. <laughs> I'd forgot one. So this one is a moisturizing bar, I believe. And it's got on the back, it's got a nice little pattern on the front. And then on the back, it has a little message and it says, I get melty when hot, pop me in the fridge and I'll be good to go. So that's that one. And it's a massage bar, Lord of Misrule, this one. And let's see what it says. It says, how to use, melt the bar directly into your skin and massage in the oils and butters. So let's see what this says. It's a pepper, vanilla and fruit extract. So let's see. But this one's Lord of Misrule. And I also got the shower gel of that. So hopefully it's the same smell because that was lovely. That smell for Halloween time. And I do have quite a few of these massage bars. And it's good because... Why does it smell so? This one, it does. Lord of Misrule has got this unique smell. It's like a really potent and smell. And I can imagine a lot of people, when you walk past Lush, a lot of people smell Lush and go, ooh, that's too strong, or, you know, I don't like that smell, all them mixed together. Well, this is kind of like where it is. And it just smells so good. So these, I would normally just, and that's it. But what I use these for is, when we're sat there on a night time, with like knots in my back or my husband. We use this just to rub on our backs and then massage with these. Because sometimes you don't want a lot of lotion and this just seems to like just give the right amount and seems to soak in really nice. So we actually go through these and enjoy the butter bars. But that, my friends, was my total haul. And I did think, and I'll have to go back and look, I must have looked at it and decided not to, but when I go to the Lush store, I'm going to get it. And it's a room spray, and it's Lord of Misrule room spray. 
and it smells exactly like these ones. The body, the shower gel smells exactly like it. That really potent, really just like Halloween, nightly ghosty smell. That's just what I'd expect, like, you know, to be in a haunted house and walking through it, that kind of smell. Um, and I did see the room spray of them. Didn't get it because I thought I'd ordered it and it was in this box. Obviously, I didn't get it, but I'm just gonna enjoy melting away these peanuts, popping all my bath bombs and bubble bars in my little jar in my bathroom and slowly, one by one, go through them. And hopefully, like I said, I don't use a full one. I usually smash it and break it up. Hopefully these last me till the Christmas season and then I can do another Christmas haul of all the goodies for Christmas. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or anything that you think I've missed that I should try, um, please let me know. I'm always looking for great ideas to try from Lush as I love, just love Lush. So hit the like button for me and subscribe. Bye.